Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here as ever. As you know, we're in Montana. I just got here a couple of weeks ago from the United Kingdom and we are setting up this awesome shop to get ready and back into making bigger projects, better projects, more beautifully crafted projects. So it's a thrill to bring you along. It's also a thrill that NordVPN is sponsoring this episode. They are a virtual private network service designed to help keep you safe on the internet and they're giving you 75% off a three-year plan when you go to nordvpn.com forward slash forge you're also gonna get one month for free by using my code forge at checkout thank you nordvpn for sponsoring the video let's jump right on in so we have a lot to do today as ever because the workshop is still in very much an unfinished state Will's made a little handy dandy list of what we gotta do. We gotta hang the mirror and whiteboard number two in the office. We gotta install a door closer. We need to mask off the grinding room so that we can paint it um, because a friend of ours has kindly said that he will let us borrow his paint spraying gun, which is gonna be super duper handy because it means we don't have to use rollers to paint it. We can just but we gotta mask it off first for that to happen. We gotta put some more shelves up. We gotta install a mailbox and uh, this is more for you guys. I just, my handwriting looks like it was done by a blind child, so. Ran to the home depot this morning, picked up some more of this plastic stuff for masking off the grinding room. And that's what you're gonna get cracking on first. While he does that, I'm gonna do some stuff in the office. So I'm gonna put up a whiteboard and uh, get ready to put up some mirrors, hopefully. So how's progress going on the masking? Well, it's actually going very well. It's completely masked off at this point. Well, except for the, the way that you get in, which is right here. But we've got the outside all masked off, all the outlets. You don't have to do the entire thing, just, just covering it up. Really? You just, even if you're spraying it? Even if you're spraying it, probably. Oh. You know what, Will? I'm gonna go ahead and hazard a guess and say that we should mask it. We should mask it a lot. In that case, we're not completely done. We're gonna do a little bit more masking on the outlets, but up above, we've got the entire railing all masked off and we've got, got it so we're not gonna get a bunch of paint on the floor. And we've got it so we're not gonna paint the staircase. And that's about all there is. And then we've done the entire inside as well. And you've done the inside as well? Yep, which these, oh. No, that's not getting painted, that's okay. Need to do more masking on, on these outlets, I guess, as well. But did the windows and the floor and here in this doorway is very good. Doesn't need any work ever. <clears throat> but yeah, it's ready for us to start spraying in here, hopefully intermittently, tomorrow. We're not starting off with straight paint either. We're gonna prime it first because apparently MDF is like a sponge and it'll just soak up a ridiculous amount of paint. So we're gonna prime it first, and then we're gonna paint over the primer. Then of course in the office, I have the whiteboard and the mirrors all set up here, which is good. That makes it, makes the space feel a little bit bigger. It makes the space, oh, oh no. I didn't erase the pencil line. I need to do that, but the space feels much bigger, which is very good. I've also got the printer set up and working, 
which means that I was able to print stuff. We definitely need another desk, we definitely need some filing cabinets, but uh, it's starting to look like something. And in other news, of course, Montana, beautiful place. Lots of people are asking why it is that I moved. Well, one of the reasons why it is that I moved is this is just one of the most beautiful places in the world. And I have been taking the opportunity to take a few hikes here in the evenings just as the sun is going down. Check out some of these shots from some recent hikes. It's pretty incredible here. <laughs> What an unbelievable place this is. I am loving it so far. It's obviously been a little bit of a while since we've made a video. I uh, enjoyed my first American Thanksgiving, which was a lot of fun. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. In more news here at the shop, more fun news. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, at Alex Steele, also follow Will on Instagram. Will's underscore Stilter. If you follow me or either of us, you would know that we are taking applications for some jobs here at the shop. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for anybody that's wanting to either intern, be an administrative assistant, or a videographer. So that's all very exciting. We've already had some great applications, and one of the things that we're going to be doing tomorrow is we have quite a number of people coming in and doing Google Hangouts with, you know, doing some interviews and chatting and getting to know some of the applicants we've already had. So that's super duper exciting. And so now what we're going to do is we are gonna set up our oxygen and propane cutting and heating set. So here we go. Soapy sponge has been soaked and soaked, soaked and soaked. Which means that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the lines, see if there are any bubbles. This isn't for cleaning it off? No, it's for testing for bubbles. Well, that is misleading. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. That looks good. That looks pretty good. I don't see anything. That looks pretty good. So that means... Do that. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Hello. Well, I think I need to mess with the settings, but the main thing is, we got some fire! Woo! This one's a cutting tip. Let's see how the heating tip works. Oh, I like fire so much. Oh, I like fire so much! Now we can heat stuff. Yeah! Yeah, I like fire. Don't do it, Will. So that's good, we've got fire. Now as you'll see, the bottles are not on a cart. Um, I am waiting for a cart to arrive. I ordered a cart, which will put the bottles on so that we make sure that oxygen bottle doesn't tip over. In the meantime, we're just gonna tie it to this conduit. Um, bottles are dangerous when they fall over, especially without that cap 
here. What's interesting is here in America, this thing comes completely off, which is very different because back home in the UK, these caps stayed on and they just had an opening for you to get the regulator in. So it's a little bit different, but it just means all the more we got to make sure that they're chained up so they don't fall over. But like I said, we have a cart coming, which is going to make sure that we can hold it all securely, hold these bottles securely, and also not have to worry about the dangers of a bottle tipping over because it's much more stable. So we've spent some time thinking a little bit about the interviews that are going to be happening tomorrow, the people that are going to be coming in, preparing for that, which has been exciting. I'm pleased that we've got that torch set up. I'm hoping that tomorrow I'm going to get that cart so it can be a, a little bit better set up. And of course, I thought that it'd be a good opportunity to introduce you to Will. Will Stelter, he is a bladesmith, and you haven't seen what it is that he's done yet. And, I mean, you, you, he's really good at making knives, he's a great friend of mine, and I'm really pleased that he's here working for me, and you're soon going to be seeing a lot more of his skills in the videos, and I thought this would be a great opportunity for you to introduce yourselves and tell the people about who you are. Well, thank you, yeah. So I'm not here for my painting skills, I'm here because I'm a knife maker and a bladesmith. I moved to Montana from Seattle, which I grew up in Seattle, moved to Montana a uh, little over a year ago or so, and I was going to school part-time and making knives the other part of the time, and I ended up making a lot more knives, spending a lot more time doing knives than I did doing schoolwork. So when Alec decided that he wanted to move here, I decided and, and asked me to work with him. I, I became a full-time bladesmith as, as school got out at the end of the year, and so for seven months now I've been a full-time bladesmith. and been doing some pretty fun interesting projects while I've been you know preparing and waiting for Alec to get here so hopefully pretty soon we're gonna be able to hop into it and, and get on to doing some real fun projects absolutely and your your like your speciality was chef's knives right mm -hmm. yeah chef's knives I've done a little bit of other I like to make knives that that were used for the most part so chef's knives everyday carry style knives stuff like that outdoor knives a little bit so I, I really like to make stuff that people use, and chef's knives are kind of the one that people use the most, I'd say, pretty much every day. Mm. So. And it's, it's also a knife that's it's very complicated to make. It's yeah. not easy to do it well. You guys will have seen me potentially try that in that kind of seven-part series of making a chef's knife. And it is, it's hard. It's a real skill, and uh, I'm really excited to have him on the team, especially as we're growing out the team, because he is going to be unbelievable help when it comes to the blade making side of what it is that we do in our projects. Because Will's grounding in the fundamentals of knife making are very, very well established. And so when it comes to us needing to make a sword that has a really good grind on it and a good edge on it and a good heat treat, that's where his skills and experience are going to come in. And it's going to, it's going to be very exciting and I can't wait to be working on those projects and collaborating on those things, especially as we have more team members because some amazing stuff is going to get made. He's a very talented knife maker. You should check out his Instagram, Will underscore Stelter. See some of the knives that he's made because you know some of that stuff will blow your mind, especially when you see them in person. The chef's knives, they feel really good. And so I'm thrilled to have you on the team, Will. And I want to thank today's sponsor, which is NordVPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network service, which means that it's going to help keep you safe while you're browsing the internet. You're coming up to Christmas. Of course, we've just had Black Friday. While you're shopping on the internet, you want to make sure that you stay safe. By using NordVPN, you have them act as an intermediary between you and the websites you browse. Not only does this mean that you stay safe, but it also means that if you want to tell the websites you browse, you're browsing from France or from the United Kingdom or from the United States, you can do by using their apps which are available on iOS, on Android, on Mac, on PC. They're very intuitive. You can easily select from one country to another. I really enjoyed using a VPN while it was that I was traveling recently over Thanksgiving because while I was on a public Wi-Fi network, super easy to make sure I'm safe by using that virtual private network. They have servers in over 60 countries now. And when you sign up at my link, nordvpn.com forward slash forge, you're going to be getting 75% off a three-year plan. You're also going to get one free month when you use code forge at checkout. The best thing is they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if at the end of a month you're like, hey, actually, I, I don't like using a virtual private network. If that were the case, you could get your money back. So it is risk-free. It'll keep you safe while you're browsing the internet. Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring the video. Thank you guys for signing up at that link in the description below. We're gonna see you on the next episode. We've got a lot to do. It's exciting to bring you along. It's exciting to have Will Stelter here in the shop. And I can't wait till we see this guy making some 
awesome knives and blades here. Thank you all so much. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.